Okay, we're almost ready to start making our stars. We have to make a few more lines. So you're going to make six lines, and each of them is going to be parallel to one of the sides of this big hexagon. So here is this bottom side. And what I want to do is I want this line to go through the center of this circle, but be parallel to this side. So I'm going to move this up. And the way to line this up is where this line here and this line here cross, right? I'm going to be on those points going through the center of the circle, and I'm going to make a line there like that. Okay. So there we have that. Now I'm going to make one parallel to this side, going through the center of this circle. So I'm going to put this here. Then I'll see I have this point over here and this point over here to line up on and make that line. Now I want to make a line parallel to this side through the center of the circle. So I'm going to go up to here and line up on this point and this point through the center of the circle. And there we go. And then here, parallel to this side, through the center of the circle. Line up on here and here. And go across. Parallel to this side, through the center. And I'm going to line up on this point and this point. There we go. Now parallel to this side of the hexagon. And up on there and there. Okay. And then, and I already have my one that I made on the base. So there, we're done. Okay, so now we're ready to really start our design. What I want you to notice is that between the centers of each pair of circles, there's a diamond. And I'm going to use this to help you see where it is, right? So you see there's a diamond shape there. And there's a cross in the middle where two lines cross. And if you go around, right, you see between these two circles, there's one here. There's one here. Here. There's one here. And one here like this. And then we come around and we're back where we started. So you're going to be using these to make the corners of your star. So let's start going around. And here's how we do it. We want to make a little line segment that goes through the center, through the crossing point here, and starts and ends where it's tangent to one or the other of the circles, where it just touches this circle or this circle, where the edge of the diamond crosses the circumference. So I'm going to make an X here like this, or a line. Then I'm going to rotate around, and I'm going to make one going the other way to that diamond as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one, and I'm going to connect this point through the center of the diamond to here, and then the other way, like so. Then I'm going to go from here through here, like that, and then from here through here like this, and then like that, and like this, and then like this, and like that. And then the last one, I'm going to go in this diamond to the center here. And there we go. All right. So you can see in the middle here, we have a six-pointed star around that circle. And around each of these circles, we have the beginning of one. So now I'm just going to have to go around and make as much as I can of each of these stars. So I'm going to go over here and do this one.
Okay, and that looks like it is done. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these six pointed stars. I have some partial ones around the edge. And I have these shapes here that kind of fill the negative space between the stars. And you can see that I cut it off. So here I didn't go all the way. I just went to the edge of the hexagon because the way I'm planning to do this design is I'm just going to cut it off at the edges of this hexagon and that'll be my, my design. But of course, you could extend this out further if you wanted to. So go ahead and try this and then uh, you want to get some tracing paper and uh, try coloring it. And I've given you a couple of examples, but I can't wait to see what you come up with.